In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a screen using motion tracking. I'm going to use HitFilm Express and no other third-party plugins or any other tools. So let's see what comes out. So as you can see, we are on HitFilm Express. So before going to make, first of all, let's make a composite shot. And just drag our footage here. So here you can see a mobile phone screen, which is which has a green screen and that's going to be our biggest advantage because we are going to replace this screen with some uh, videos or images or, or anything so before we're going to replace our screen first of all we have to track these four corners and for that purpose we have to create four different points so let's make those first and let's rename those say uh, top left and this is top right and this is bottom left and this one is bottom right so I think it's done so now we are going to track these four corners so now go to the footage and hit the track let's rename it first uh, since we are going to track this first uh, top left corner so let's rename it as a top left now here you can see the tracking box now just move this tracking box to this corner exactly and hit display button so here you can see our point is tracking properly with the top left corner of the mobile so our tracking is done and let's select our top left corner for this tracking point and hit apply now similarly you should do for the other three point also So here you can see so our all the four points are tracked properly. Now our next step is to make our screen. So for that let's make a composite shot and let's rename it as a so screen. But one more thing, 
and since our screen is in portrait mode so we have to modify our composite shot uh, let's change our dimension it's it should be the width should be like uh, 1080 and, and height should be 1920 so now here you can see this is a portrait mode and let's select a let's make a plane layer and keep it ready here So you can see our composite shot screen is formed here. Now we have to drag this screen composite shot to our mobile screen. So let's see how it looks. Now just apply the quad drop of effect to that composite shot. Quadraph effect, you can see four different components top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. And you have to change the layer to its corresponding point, which we already made. So, this is the top left component, and we are corresponding to our top left point. Similarly, for the other components also. So, here you can see. Our screen is properly tracked with the movement of the mobile. And now we are going to replace this red screen with our any footage or any image. So let's go to the composite shot of the screen and replace with some any other footage. Suppose this one. Adjust your scaling. Let's reduce the length up to here. And drag another footage. And see we are done. Now let's go to our main composite shot and see how it looks. So here you can see our red screen is properly replaced by all the three footage. So let's play it and how it looks. And it's properly done. Now just reduce the length of the footage so that it completely occupies the duration of the actual footage, actual uh, main video. And it's working. Now since in the original raw footage, there is a green screen in the mobile, so we should take the advantage of it. So we have to remove that green screen, so that our new footage are properly fitted. There is no any other issues. So to remove the green screen, so we have to use the chroma key effect, that means uh, the color difference. And apply our main footage. But you should drag this footage above our screen composite shot. So here you can see our comma key is applied. So that's it for today. If you really found this video helpful, then hit the like button, leave your comments and share it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.